6.15, time now for business news, and we say good morning to Mike Apple, and we also say happy Friday, but this time it's a happy Black Friday to you. Happy yeah. Black Friday, Mike. Get ready, set, get, get ready, set shop. Ready to go. The, ready the, to that's go. That's the deal today, Tammy. Yeah, the, uh, I, you know, this is going to be a very interesting uh, retail spending day, that's for sure. Uh, consider, you know, what are people going to spend their money on? How much are they going to spend? Will they be enticed by all of the deals that uh, are said to be in the making for today? Because, look, let's face it, uh, inflation has been what we've all been talking about for pretty much all year and how much it's costing just on a day-to-day -day basis to uh, put food on the table. So there isn't exactly as much discretionary uh, spending money to be had. So the retailers are going to be have to, are going to have to offer up some very deep discounts. In fact, we're expecting some of the uh, steepest uh, price uh, declines uh, in, in recent memory. Remember last year, it was all about oh, we don't have anything to sell. Mm -hmm. The supply chain issues, the inventory. This year, it's the complete opposite. The inventory levels are really strong, and some retailers are going to have to uh, move some product. And you will see some big uh, sales uh, in the uh, shop windows today. Uh, again, though, will people be as enticed to spend as much? Will they just put it on plastic? Who knows? We'll get the, the early numbers uh, likely when we see the, the doors open a little bit later on this morning. I think the other thing, too, Tammy, is the fact that a lot of people might be distracted today. Uh, Robert Half did a survey on this about the big distractions at work, and one of those is just, uh, well, you're sitting there and you're going, I wonder what kind of deals I can find on uh, online for e-commerce, so uh, it, it, <laughs> productivity levels might not exactly be up to uh, regular regular day-to-day uh, uh, -day output today, that's for sure. Tell the truth, Mike. So one tab yes. on your computer right now is Zoom. Is the <laughs> other tab well, like a uh, retail outlet? Come on. Look, Best Buy. We're, we're all in the same situation where you open your uh, email today and isn't it just chock full of sales opportunities from various <laughs> retailers that you may or may not have signed up for yeah <laughs> so the enticement is real it's there <laughs> it is there and then tomorrow so after black friday the day after yes people are encouraged to shop with small businesses a small business saturday that's right um because in fact this year you know you, you think that there's excitement anticipation about uh the the real kickoff to the holiday shopping season and uh the small business sector is not feeling it this year uh, because of, well, look, they went through the lockdowns of the pandemic, all of the sales restrictions. They piled on all sorts of debt. And now the Canadian Federation of Independent Businesses uh, says that uh, small business operators are really worried about debt servicing costs because interest rates have gone up so much. And they're just saying, oh, great, from one thing to another. So they're really trying to encourage uh, consumers to shop small business on Saturday and every day for that matter to give uh, you know, uh, the lifeblood of the economy a real uh, helping hand here because it uh, employs so many of our neighbors and uh, keeps the economy moving. All right, and uh, we're running out of time, but lastly, uh, I want to skip mm -hmm. ahead to real or fake Christmas trees. Uh, kind of talking about that uh, <laughs> earlier, uh, the fact that once again, we're hearing yep. that there is a Christmas tree shortage. And this has been something that's actually been you know, in, the, in the making for, for years now. Uh, Dating back to, I think, 2016, 2017, the Christmas tree shortage really started to develop because back in 08, 09, during the financial crisis, fewer Christmas trees were planted. And it takes 10 years to 12 years to get up to Christmas tree size. So this is the ripple effects of that. And we've seen prices for Christmas trees go up every year. I am wondering, though, Tammy, the balsam fir is the most popular. It's very expensive this year. Uh, the spruce, uh, you're going to find more supply of that. But again, I just wonder if uh, people are going to be, you know, balking at some of these prices. You look at some of the greenery at the grocery store out front, and it's pretty expensive this year, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, you know, that it all comes back to uh, consumer uh, spending uh, capabilities, I think, and uh, that's something certainly to watch for. And even artificial trees are more expensive this year because of what the, you know, the energy market and the distribution and the transportation and the fertilizer and all of this stuff. It's just... <sighs> It all piles we went, up. We went, we went artificial years ago. Yeah, I've we used to do the been. spruce. We used to do the spruce yeah. thing every year, and every year I just remember the mess dragging that thing out of the house. <laughs> Why the mess? Just have it there. There's no shortage. It's always in the basement. It's ready to go. All right. Bingo. Thanks very much, Mike. Have a great weekend. Thank you. We'll chat with you Monday. You too.